Welcome. Now that we know how to think computationally, it is important to consider the different types of information and data sources we might encounter. We continue with a case study that you can use in your classroom from the previous topic, namely that we received an email inviting us to an event. We now see on the screen a fictionous email that wants to invite you to the annual science fair organized by the School of Scientific Discovery. Note that different types of information and data sources have been used to compile this mail, namely text, an image, a video, an audio clip, a table, a hyperlink, and some attachments. We will discuss all these elements separately in the remainder of this video. The first element we will explore is text. Text is a fundamental and versatile information source that utilizes written words and characters to convey messages, ideas, and data. It plays a vital role in communication, providing a structured and concise means of sharing information across various mediums, including emails, books, articles, websites, and more. In this email, the text plays a crucial role in conveying essential details about the science fair. It provides written information that guides recipients through the events, including the date, time, location, and team. Text allows for precise communication and serves as a foundation for understanding the email's purpose. The second element we encounter is an image. Images are visual representations that convey information or set the tone for the content. In this example email, the image showcases a telescope observing distant galaxies, hinting at the topic of the science fair, astronomy, and space exploration. Next, we have a video. Videos are powerful tools for communication, allowing us to demonstrate experiments, showcase demonstrations, or present dynamic content. In the email, the short video clip presents a thrilling chemical reaction experiment, giving the recipients a glimpse of the exciting activities they can expect at the science fair. Moving on to audio. Audio clips stimulate our sense of hearing and can be used to convey sounds, music or spoken information. In this email, the audio clip features the sounds of bubbling beakers, creating an immersive experience and setting the tone for the scientific atmosphere of the event. Now, let's talk about hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are clickable texts or images that direct us to another web page or resource. In the email, the hyperlink takes us to the dedicated web page for the science fair, where we can find additional information, updates, and possibly register for the event. Next, we have the table. Tables and graphs are effective ways to present organized data or schedules. In this email, the table displays the event schedule with time slots, exhibit names, and speaker sessions. It allows recipients to plan their visit and navigate through the diverse offerings of the science fair. Lastly, the email has three attachments. They each have a different type of file format, we discuss the different file formats and their extensions in the next topic. So there you have it. In this example email, we encountered several different types of information and data sources. We explored the use of text, images, videos, audio, hyperlinks, tables, and different types of file formats to provide a rich and engaging experience for the recipients. This is just a selection of the most common information and data sources, but there are many more options such as pie charts, graphs, and many more. Remember, leveraging diverse information and data sources can enhance communication, uh, capture attention, and convey complex ideas effectively. Whether you're crafting an email or designing a presentation, consider incorporating these different elements to create compelling and informative content.